in the, the last citad, we obtain the first result for classical treatment uh, as an, uh, monoclonal antibodies against amyloid deposition. Uh, but except this result, we had a lot of failure and disappointment and frustration about the amyloid hypothesis. This is one of the reasons we have decided with uh, Region Life uh, company to develop an uh, innovative device using photobiomodulation because we have study in uh, RMM mouse model the effect of infrared radiation. And in this um, animal model, we have obtained very clear results. We have obtained good um, uh, improvement of short-term memory and long-term memory, but also we have obtained improvement in the inflammation and uh, in the oxidative stress. And we finally also we reduce the deposition of beta amyloid and tau in this mouse model. So we have decided to organize a um, pilot study in patients suffering from Alzheimer's disease. And we have conducted this pilot study uh, between 2018 and 2020. We have studied the effect of photobiomodulation with a region life device in 50 patients suffering from Alzheimer's disease. And in this patient, we obtain three kinds of good results. First, the treatment was well tolerated, no side effect. Second, the compliance was very, very good. It's very important because these patients are fragile and uh, um, to have a treatment which is easy to apply is a very important uh, data. And the third kind of result was about cognitive functioning. And we have obtained uh, several good results, significant results uh, about uh, cognitive function. So we decided to organize a pivotal study using the uh, regional device, but in more a great number, a greater number of subjects, we decided to study this device in 108 uh, subjects in the um, University Hospital of Toulouse. Uh, and we have presented this project at the CITAD in San Francisco uh, a few days ago. And we have obtained uh, very good acceptance from peers. Uh, and we have discussed <clears throat> all, all the, the benefit we can uh, uh, obtain with this kind of device. You know, the amyloid hypothesis was very fragile, but the last result about lecanumab from his eye has reinforced the hypothesis. But we are sure, and we have the support of the ADDF, that is Alzheimer Drug Discovery Foundation, uh, we are sure that we have to look beyond amyloid and tau. Beyond amyloid and tau, 
uh, that means we have to have several targets outside beta amyloid and tau, and which are the two all mark uh, pathological protein of the Alzheimer disease. And um, we think that mitochondria could be one of the target. Neuroinflammation could be one of the target. Oxidative stress could be one of the target. And our device, the region life device, using infrared photobiomodulation, act in mitochondria, in neuroinflammation, and also in oxidative stress. So I think photobiomodulation could be one of the parts of a future treatment of Alzheimer's disease. As you know, we have um, obtained result in AIDS because we have focused on several targets and we want to, to do the same strategy for Alzheimer's disease. The future treatment of AD, Alzheimer's disease, will be a combination treatment. anti amyloid monoclonal uh, antibodies, also anti-tau treatment, but also anti-inflammatory treatment, anti uh, uh, oxidative stress treatment, and this is why, this is, this is why I, I, I'm sure that the photobiomodulation treatment using uh, infrared uh, radiation could be one of the solutions. Not the, the solution, but one of the solutions for the next treatment of this terrible disease, which is uh, Alzheimer's disease.